Sunday. I'm Kasia. I'm Gavin. Only four days left until we board a plane and leave Vienna for a little town called Essen. Maybe you ask yourself why we are doing such a thing. Well, there were more than 700 good reasons to undertake this little four-day trip. More than 700 games will be presented at Die Spiel 2016 in Essen, which, by the way, is the biggest board game convention on this planet. So, four of us are going for this little trip to test play more than 40 games. At least, that's the number from last year's experience. We will be test playing each day as many games as possible. And to do this, we are playing only the first couple of rounds of the game until we get a grip of how the game works. Then, all four of us give the personal rating for each game and out of those ratings we create an overall ranking of the games we manage to play that specific day. So after the convention we have a list with all the games we test played and the ratings for each of those games. The ratings look like the following. We have five categories that are important to us uh, to rate those games we played. The first category is how much did we like the game? The second one is how complex uh, is the game? The third one is how many interaction with other players are there? The fourth, how much downtime is there? So when will be the next time I can do something useful? The fifth is how good will it be as a two player game? Mm -hmm. And there we just trust our gut feeling to figure that out. This year we will even add two more categories to our board game voting system. The sixth one is design, which basically tells us how much we like the components and the design of the game and uh, also how good or bad is the production quality. And the seventh category is luck versus strategy. There we just uh, figure out if it's just a pure luck-based game or if it's really deeply uh, involved with strategy. The list of games we want to play is getting longer with each passing day. So to give you a short overview of the games we are really looking forward to, every one of us will give you three of the most anticipated games of the Spiel 2016 in Essen. And I definitely have to start my list with Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle by USAopoly. It is a two to four player cooperative deck building game where Harry, Ron, Hermione and Neville are trying to secure the school by fighting villains. I know it's a little bit a childish theme, but Still, I love Harry Potter, I'm a huge fan, and it is a cooperative game, so it can be really, really interesting. My second game on the list is Martians, a story of civilization by Redimp Games. This is a one to four player game where you have to survive and also create better living standards for future generations. Uh, I don't really know much more about the game, but I like the theme, Martian, uh, and Mars and new civilizations, so I'm really curious about that one. And my third game on the list is Jorvik by Stefan Feld. This is a 2 to 5 player game where you gather prestige points, for example, by trading goods and hiring soldiers to defend the city against recurring invasions. And it doesn't really sound like a new uh, game idea, but this is a game that I really like, like the, the basic uh, strategy uh, where you find and try to, to, to get resources. And it is a Stefan Feld game, so it's kind of a must-have. Okay, so now to my most anticipated games of uh, Die Spiel 2016 in Essen. I'll start with number three first, which is Area 51 Top Secret from Mücke Spiele. I totally love the X-Files theme, so this game is really something that uh, uh, interested me a lot and it's basically about finding uh, alien artifacts and uh, securing them. That's basically all I know about the game. My number two is the Oracle of Delphi. Uh, this is also a Stefan Feld game and yeah, it's... 
placed around the area of uh, Odysseus, so it could be really interesting. And finally, my most anticipated game is Crisis by Ludi Creations. Um, it's an economic worker placement game uh, where the workers actually are managers and you try to improve uh, the company and uh, get it back on track. So we're super excited to be able to join the crazy four days in Essen. And if you're interested in the stuff, uh, check out our YouTube channel and you will get some uh, daily videos from there where we test, uh, where we rank the top three games of each and every day. And if you are interested in what games we managed to play last year at Die Spiel 2015, check out our blog post Four Days, Four Nerds and 47 Board Games. Have fun! Bye!